Uh, it's Saturday morning. About to go meet Lionel Sanders, Tim Fetzer, Ben Foltz, and Sophie Pete for a swim at the OVAC. Quality speed swim today. Um, yeah, kind of on a whole new training program a little bit. Not like a whole new training program, but like a little bit different of a training program. I uh, have a new coach now, uh, his name is Wes, Wesley Johnson, Coach Wes for short. Um, he's a NCAA women's triathlon coach at the University of Arizona. So I got connected with him not too long ago. So I started working with him, it's been great. And yeah, today I think we're gonna do a little day in the life. If we're kind of just getting back into some training, there hasn't been a ton of structure. Um, it's really just been a lot of like foundational endurance work whatever you want to call it. Excited to have Cyrus back, pumping out the YouTube videos. It should be more consistent moving forward because it's a pretty lull time in the, uh, in the season and uh, hopefully announce some uh, cool sponsorships uh, coming up early next year. So enjoy the vid, like, sub, comment, all nine yards, baby. about an hour, so I'll probably get out of like You don't have to do the run workout tonight. You're a pure swimmer. Yes. Watch your muscle this shit out of the water now and swim slower. <laughs> here we go. What are they going through the 25 here? Flipping, put on 14, 14 flat. So uh -oh. we're not going sub 28. <laughs> no. Must have got a great close. Too bad. Here's the race now. Uh, 26, 27. Yeah. 28 mid, both of you. 28? 28 mid, yeah. You 
York in 13 high. Trevor's out ahead of him, too. Here we go. Let's see. Six. Seven. Oh! Good work. That's probably 8 4. 28 4. Because it's an even number. So, good call. I was. Yeah. I just had brain fog. I didn't know what was going on. You told I know. Two more. Did I? Yeah. I told him two more. Yeah. And I just did one more and thought yeah. that was it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was that was a really good swim for him and I. We did 16 quality 50s broken up into like four different rounds. Four hard each time. Um, so I just can throw the screenshot up with the workout. But when we held, because we started at like 30, but as we got warmed up, we started holding 29 low, 29 mid. The whole thing, I mean, it's only a 29 second interval, it's only a 50. But I mean, two months ago, I was going 32. Yeah. I mean, you were probably 31. Yeah. So that's really good, really good swing for me. Now I just need to do that for longer. And got to bring it to the open water. And you know, just keep stacking days. I mean, I've been, obviously, like I said, I've been working with Coach West in person. Swimming with him in person. Lionel has a swim coach, so I've been swimming with Lionel. Sam's probably swimming the best of all of us. I've been swimming with him and Reed. That's been great. I think it's just a good environment. Ben, Ben's starting to swim again, and he's better swimming than all of us. So, it's been really, really good. Just need to keep training in the right direction, but session one of three done for the day. I'm gonna go watch a little college football. And we got a little run workout. Now, don't get me wrong, I know 28, it's like, that's not, Amazing, I mean, that's, four weeks ago, I was going 32. Well, until we get the lactate on us. <laughs> this guy's a lactate guy. You have a good anaerobic capacity, so you should very quickly be able to produce speed quickly. Yeah, which I have. What needs to then be managed is getting, yeah. getting the speed, once the ceiling is good. Then you need to pull the bottom up. figure out how to get the, how to get the threshold closer yeah. to the ceiling. Yeah. But you should quickly be able to. I mean, I think your running is the exact same, and I would I would venture that your swimming is exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's the good way we're doing. Like you want to get fast first, and now you need to get fast. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I doing four hundreds at one fifteen pace is hard. Absolute waste of time, in my yeah. opinion, right now. It's not the time. Yeah. But the ceiling, literally, your ceiling, as you just said four weeks ago, is lower than these guys' threshold. Yeah, I know. So yeah. literally, all they got to do is swim at a threshold. And you're dropped. Yeah, exactly. right. It's like not even a contest. Yeah, exactly. So first you got to get the ceiling, and then worry about the ramifications of the ceiling being after. Too high. Yeah. Which is no problem. I'm actually going to shout out my friend John Reed. Stayed at my house for two weeks. He has eaten handfuls of spinach. And I want to be as good as him. <laughs> now I'm eating handfuls of spinach. Spinach like John. <laughs> Alright, is that rolling? Yeah. Alright. 1140. We actually need to eat pretty quick because we're running the trail at one. We've got uh, chicken, spinach, Alfredo. Super healthy for all the people that like, like to talk about diet in the comments. <laughs> Multitasking with uh, Clash Clients. Just upgraded to uh, Town Hall level nine. Bit obsessed with uh, Clash of Clans as of late. If you want to drop drop into my clan, drop me a DM on the good old IG. If you're pretty good, you gotta be competitive in the clan wars, active dono, I'll let you in. So we got, we have, I think we have like 17 members right now, pretty competitive. So yeah. I think I think you could do great. So I think I can do great in a few years. Um, things smell like amazing. No, never. What are the uh, gold gold paces? On the four hundreds, I run seventy for the fours. Try to. I mean, seventy two. I'm not really trying to kill myself. And then on the miles, a touch under five flat would be awesome. 
again, I'm not really trying to kill myself here. I'm just trying to check the box. So, um, 4.55 to 5 flat pace, I'd be pretty happy. I don't know what interval we're doing them on, but I think that's the idea. Just a good little hit of fitness. So, yeah. Four, four times quarter mile, um, 68, 65, 66, 65, uh, 70 second break. So, ready to prime the system, now four by a mile. What was the split on that? 445. It's hard to, this is the first time doing a hard swim in this kind of new block of training preceding it. So it might just be <laughs> the fatigue that makes it feel hard, or it might just be that metabolically it is harder. Let's go. It's like negative one percent grade down, positive one percent grade up. So you heard the four hundreds. First one down is four fifty for the mile. Second one back four fifty three for the mile. Two more. Maybe one more. We'll see how I feel. One or two more. I was even trying to flex, I was just trying to run the same, same pace as the first downhill interval. So.
sir. 443, baby. There you go. Feeling smooth. Make it split. Here. Yeah, I guess so. Really good session. Really good. Didn't feel the best, but like going in, felt really smooth running. That was a 4:43. So what? Just an easy hour on the bike left? Um. Yep. I think uh, just 45 to 60 minutes. Super chill on the bike. I mean, 112. That's not very good. That's horrible. Really good session. I was I'm sure you'll throw the paces on the board, but I think the miles were like 450, 453, 449, 443 off two minutes rest. So, pretty good running. And I mean, it felt chill. Like, I, I wasn't. I wasn't squeezing or anything, so quite happy with it. Um, especially after that, that speed swim. I'm pretty happy. So now let's head home, get some calories, recovery, and uh, yeah, active recovery on the bike, and then college football. Thanks, Bob. All right, 5.30, finish. We're almost done. Finishing a little later than we wanted to. But, uh, I was just trying to get all this freaking thing. Just got home. It's just dangerous to come home and sit on the couch. I mean, we sat on the couch watching college football freaking face on Kyle. Just, uh, I'm trying to say something, messing around. That's the easy way of saying that. Um, messing around. Yeah, it's burning daylight. But my favorite thing to do um, in the winter, fall, like basically when it's cold here, is like I'll literally leave my bike trainer set up on this balcony for the next like six months and just do a lot of my riding just out here if it's cold enough. I got the fan. I like riding outside. <laughs> Get fresh air. Great views. I mean, look around. I mean, it's super nice. So, can't really beat it. So, yeah, it's been a great day. Really good swim. Definitely trending in the right direction for the swim. So, like I said earlier, I think it's just been great having Coach Wes here in town to swim with. I mean, I was able to swim with good people. Like, I think his name's Cole. Cole Johnson? Is that his last name? Is that Cole's last name? Jameson? Cole J. I don't know. Really fast swimmer. I swim with him and some other fast people, and it's just been like a really good influence, right? I think it's even more important, though, to swim with a coach on deck, you know? And I started that journey after Augusta. Sarah McClarity, based out of Claremont. Worked with Sarah a few years ago when I was in Florida. Taught me how to swim, literally. Ended up actually swimming really well under her. Um, 25 minute 70.3 swim. Sub hour Ironman swim. Like, she really got me on my feet. She swam at Florida. Amazing person and coach. Really works good for me. Um, but this is hard because she's in Claremont. So now I think with the addition of Wes, multiple times a week. And um, of course, Coach Justin at Aqua Bear. I'm swimming there two or three times a week as well. I basically think like with the two of them, I think it's gonna be great. Um, going to the university, swimming with Wes, just on like form stuff. And then Wes actually, he's been swimming with me uh, once a week, which has been great. I mean, it's great to have a coach like a Wes or Sarah to actually get in the pool with you. <laughs> swim and coach you, have to like beat you in the water and coach you while doing it, like really good. And then of course Justin had off the bear, uh, Tuesday, Friday. So it's been fantastic. I think I have a good group of coaches and team and sponsors and friends and 
family, everything going into 2024. So I think it's gonna be a great year for the swim front. Great swim. You ended up having a really good run, what do you say? I mean, really good times. I mean, yeah. 440s for the mile repeats, like on the trail. I mean, being under control. I mean, I didn't take lactate like the boss, but I mean, it was easy. It wasn't hard. So that's good. Definitely happy with that. We're gonna finish this ride up, and then you're gonna hop on. And then I think we're getting poke bowls for dinner. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for the support. Uh, a lot of people bought shirts. Thank you. And just it's been a great year of personal growth, um, triathlon growth. I mean, took a big kind of risk moving to Oral Valley, Tucson, you know, um, leaving Florida. Like we I left so for five months and you know, and so I think it's a big shout out to Karen and Lionel. I mean They've helped me more than anybody this year. So to really they get me on my feet. So thank you to them. And, um, I mean, we're still staying here, um, but we're really looking forward to the next year or two. So just continue to work together and have a good time. So peace.